roads. Uh, I tried, I decided to try to make the terminal, um, which is located in Pleasanton, Texas. I needed to go there because I needed to miss, meet up with uh, a safety guy so I could get my IFTA stickers for 2018. When he was passing them out earlier this month, my truck was in the shop. And I didn't get my truck until uh, the 18th. So, when I got my third load to Elmendorf, of course it was Sunday, so their, their, their offices weren't going to be open. So, I decided after the third load to head over there, try to make it the terminal, shut it down, wait till they open up in the morning, and then take care of it. But, but when I left the well, I drove for maybe about an hour, hour and a half, somewhere around there. And it got to a point where it was getting really foggy. The fog was so thick at times that I couldn't see maybe 40 feet, maybe 50 feet uh, in front of me. So I took it slow because it's just a, it was a small two lane road that I was on. I just kept going until I found a place where I could park. I grew up through a little town. I wish I could remember the town it was, but uh, it was a little uh, Valero. And it had uh, two diesel lanes and just enough parking for a couple of trucks. So I shut it down there for the, for the break. And I uh, woke up about 6 30. Get ready to get some breakfast. Luckily, they had a little uh, barbecue shop inside that gas station slash restaurant, I guess you'd say. Um, serve barbecue during the day for lunch and dinner and, and for breakfast. You know, have a little breakfast tacos or breakfast bowl. Um, they only had flour tortillas, so I had to go with a breakfast bowl. There was some, some eggs, some frijoles, some potato, and uh, some brisket, out, and some shredded cheese on top of it. It was good, really good. Decent price. Uh, I got for two dollars and sixty-nine cents a gallon. And, uh, from there, I drove another hour and a half to, to get to Pleasanton. So I got to the uh, terminal, met up with the safety guy, got my IFTA stickers, and uh, got that put on and called dispatch. Get a load, and luckily they had one ready for me. Uh, so we went to Elmendorf, got some 4070 white sand, and uh, we were driving to Weimar, Texas, to go meet up with the uh, sand coordinator at Loves. So I met up with the uh, sand coordinator at Loves, and uh, uh, just to let you know, the sand coordinator. Says this or this. He's asking you what kind of sand you got. 100 mesh or 4070 sand. White sand or brown sand doesn't matter because uh, for each well they're going to use either or. Not. I haven't gotten to one where they use both white and brown, so I, I, I don't think it makes a difference. I'm not sure. Good morning. It's uh, January 23rd. And uh, I'm at the fuel station. I got my first load uh, today. This is load five for this pay period. And I uh, just want to do a little uh, short video on, I'm fueling up at a, what well, used to be a Seneca. Uh It's called Sealy Truck Stop now. And uh, the fuel here for diesel is 2.5. Five, nine. Uh, so $2.59 and uh, what I've been seeing on average at Love's and Flying J it's uh, $2.85 so there's a 16 cent difference now that might not seem as a, a lot to some of these newer drivers like, well that's 16 cents what's the deal but when you're loading over 100, 100 barrels I mean gallons I'm sorry uh, that adds up 
So I prepay here since I'm using uh, the company's card. I always go inside prepaid. Uh, I don't want to do it later just in case the card doesn't work. It's not in the actual network. So I go in prepaid. I went ahead and did $300 even and I divided that by $2.65. So it comes out to 115.8 gallons of diesel that's being loaded. Now, if I were to do that at Love's for 115.8 gallons at Love's or Flying J at $2.85, that would have came out to roughly $330 and some change. So just by doing that, I saved myself $30. So that's one way of, of trying to save money when you're over the road. Uh, for me, it's easier since it's uh, I'm I'm going to a familiar place back and forth, you know, 110 miles or so each in each direction. So my first two couple of trips, I'm I'm paying attention. I'm looking at the fuel stations that I'm going to be passing throughout my route and looking at the prices and comparing them and and try to keep a, a mental memory of where I should stop when I need to get some extra fuel. So uh, the other lowest gas station was probably 200, I'm sorry, $2.69 for some other independent uh, truck stops. One that I saw heading to Elmendorf was $2.65. So I'm coming from Crosby heading to Weimar, Texas. But if I was going to Elmendorf and coming back to Weimar, Texas, my best shot, my best uh, option was uh, $2.65 if, if I needed to refuel. But uh, I got here with less than a quarter of a tank, so we'll see how much uh, fuel this is going to give me. Uh, so just, uh, just a heads up, make sure you keep, oh, uh, yeah, make sure you keep uh, an eye out for the prices. Also, I'm not getting deaf, I have half a tank. Uh, the tank that I have for deaf is about 20 gallons. So I got about a good 10, 10 gallons. And usually that's about, I'm using about 2.5 uh, gallons of depth a day. So I'm good for now. I don't want to do it here because here they sell it, sell it in a 2.5 gallon container. And usually the prices run for about $14.99 $14 to $18.99 what I've seen. Uh, I'd like to do that at Love's or, or Flying J because it's cheaper there by the gallon. Uh, I believe it's maybe three dollars or less a gallon. So if I needed, you know, ten gallons, of, that's what thirty bucks, right? So, so here, if I just wanted two containers, that's already thirty. Uh, that's already thirty bucks. Uh, just on the low side for $14.99 per container and that's what that's five five gallons So yeah, that those are some ways of saving some money when you're out on the road. So pay attention and, Especially when you're on your own when your company is just like whatever just fuel it up And don't worry about the price. So that's the same mentality I had when I was company drivers like Oops, I'm not paying for the gas so, but now owner op, you gotta pay attention to uh, how you're spending your money and where your money's going. So as it for now, I'll keep y'all updated uh, a little bit later on. Hopefully we can get two loads today at least, but we'll see. I'll see y'all later, bye. Hey, what's going on guys? It's still uh, January the 23rd. I'm on my second load today. Uh, my second load had me pick up at Elmendorf to pick up uh, 40, 70 white sand. And it was at a new location near the same facility that I was picking up. Uh, uh, I think it was 40, 70 uh, sand in Elmendorf. But it was uh, under a different, different company, right next to each other. Um, picked up sand there, and I was taking it to Moulton, 
Bolton, Texas, and it's for a different different client. And for this for this client at the unloading facility, you give them three hours free, and after that, it's sixty-five bucks. So I've been here over seven hours. I'm probably moving in a little bit, and so I might be here a total of maybe nine. So uh, I'll get an extra. I get paid for seven hours out of that. I'm sorry, uh, six six hours out of the out of the nine hours that I've, I'll probably be here at 65 bucks a pop. So the load was paying 547 bucks. So I think I'll get right around 388. I can't recall. And on top of that, I'll get the extra extra almost 400 bucks so I'll make some good money off of this load uh, since I've been sitting here waiting in line uh, waiting for the okay to head back towards the well to start unloading uh, but I'll probably be, be finishing um, probably around 1 o'clock uh, in the morning on the 24th so this load will be I'll probably get paid for this load under tomorrow's date but still for the same pay period so that's fine I believe this is load number six of the uh, pay period but, uh, so far just waiting that's it collect the money while I'm sitting here so that's a good thing but uh, let y'all know uh, if anything else pops up later